All right, folks, so this is one of the scuppers that was going unused in my backyard. And initially, all the water was basically draining uh -huh. onto this little rock pad and then going out to the street. And it was just basically flooding this entire part of the yard underneath the, uh, underneath the swamp cooler. It was just a mess. So now what I've got is I recycled one of my old barrel stands from my biodiesel brewing days. And I've got this little flume that's set up to basically be captured by this 40-gallon uh, um, garbage can, uh, which has a bung down on the bottom. And then the pressure head from this being on a, on a milk crate should basically send all that water, let's trace it, out to my dry garden. So that's the idea. We're supposed to get some rains tonight, and uh, I'll be real interested to see if this uh, holds up, if this actually works the way I think it's gonna work. And then I've also got this scupper on the other side of my house that's gonna feed these three barrels, which are daisy chained together, for water storage. And then I've got a couple more. All these barrels were basically uh, reclaimed from a, a friend of mine who works at an auto dealership. These used to have uh, car wash soap in them. So this water is basically going to be stored for, uh, for watering my plants back here and watering my fruit tree. And also maybe do a little something uh, with, uh, with my mulch experiment, which is summarized in other chapters of this channel. So we'll see how that goes. One last thing I'm going to do is reset my rain gauge over here. This has been reporting for the past few months. As you can see, it's uh, been a little impacted by wildlife. Let's open this up. It's easy enough to reset. All you gotta do is basically click the reset on the trinket. So that'll start the counter to zero on that. Um, and uh, that's it. And here you can see that spike in humidity from, uh, from this morning. Uh, last time we had a spike like that, we did get some rain, and that's the uh, graph on the bottom left. And then I'll go ahead and show the, the rain gauge after having uh, uh, tripped the uh, trinket, which is communicating with the phone via I squared C. You can see that my rain total is back to zero.
Okay, folks, we got two inches of rain on the uh, on the analog meter. So let's compare that to what this thing registered, as well as the uh, as well as the Davis weather station, which is right over here. So my guess is that um, that the tipping bucket rain gauges are going to underestimate that uh, two inches. Okay, here's the Davis um, weather station. This is what this reports: 1.52 inches. So I'm about a half inch, uh, about a half inch under on this. Here front. you can see that the Argent weather station only reported 1.21 inches. So yeah, these tipping bucket uh, rain gauges um, are just getting overwhelmed by these intense monsoons. And I kind of figured that out when I was doing the uh, the accuracy test uh, a few months back.